from the Cube Studios in Palo Alto and Boston, it's the Cube, covering IBM Think. Brought to you by IBM. Hi, everybody. We're back, and you're watching the Cube's coverage of the IBM Think digital event uh, for 2020. This is the, the socially distant and socially responsible Cube. My name is Dave Vellante. I'm here with David LaRose, who's the general manager of the IBM Partner Ecosystem. David, good to see you. Likewise, Welcome. Great, to, great to be here. Yeah, so this is your first year in running the, uh, the ecosystem. You probably didn't expect to be managing through uh, the, the, this world crisis, this novel coronavirus, but um, what was your first move? Uh, your outreach to partners, how are you communicating to them? Maybe you could share with us you know, how, how that's all going. Sure, we, it certainly wasn't in the brief. So uh, when I took this job, you're right. Um, but you know, we have a, a very strong relationship with, uh, with our partners. And what we have is we have a global advisory board. So it's about uh, 25 or 30 of our largest partners across the world. We engage with them very, very quickly. That's all of the CEOs, presidents, vice presidents of sales. Um, and we, we engage with them on a, um, on a survey and said, you know, you know, how are you thinking about this? What are the, what are your big concerns? And you know, not um, unusually, they came back with uh, a couple of key things. Number one was, and their primary concern is how do they support their clients? Uh, that was probably number one um, on their list of things, followed very closely by uh, enabling their firms to have a financial stability. That was number two. And then probably number three, I would say, was you know, managing their workforce. Um, you know, moving to a, to a digital uh, only uh, type of environment, similar to what IBM's done. That were kind of the, the, three, the three big concerns. Um, and then we, we spent some time, you know, talking to them about how we could help uh, them really uh, deal with that and, and address some of those problems. And, and uh, earlier this week, we, we announced sort of four very key things around um, how do we help them. One, you know, how do we adapt our programs and our incentives um, and uh, really looking at providing them with, um, you know, extension of things like loyalty programs. So don't worry about, you know, your ability to, to revalidate and uh, recertify. We're going to protect your, your loyalty uh, for 2020. Uh, we added a lot of uh, incentives in, the, in our hardware, our systems um, program in the, in the second quarter. So we've increased by half a percent of their, their based incentive uh, from, from the first dollar. And so a lot of uh, areas around programs and terms. Then we sort of really tried to address their, their point of view around digital. Um, some companies were digitally ready, but there were many companies that weren't digitally ready, no digital platform at all. So we uh, very quickly rolled out what we call our My Digital Marketing platform, uh, where partners can come in uh, download content and, and curate uh, content from IBM and then wrap their own uh, campaigns around that and get that out and continue to engage with their clients and their partners. Um, and we're funding all of that 100% from an IBM perspective on uh, using our co-marketing dollars. We used to have a 50-50 um, funding model with our, with our partners, but in this particular scenario, if it's a digital program that they're running, we're funding at 100%. And then we're also opening up uh, to provide consultancy on how to optimize digital campaigns. So I think, you know, Dave, the, the thing that we've done here is adjust our programs and terms quickly um, and put more money back into the, into the program during the second quarter and, and kind of protect liquidity for our partners. And then really try to help them and enable them to get to, uh, to a digital uh, workforce and, and a digital program. Yeah, a couple things there. I mean, we were talking earlier uh, to the the folks from IBM Global Finance, and that's a key part. You mentioned right. liquidity. You know, certainly these partners are you know obviously very much concerned about the uncertainty ahead. So having a a partner like IBM that can whether it's you know pass on you know lease terms or uh, et cetera and provide that sort of backing is is key. I think the other thing too we've heard from a lot of executives is you got to stay close to your clients during during. You know, we always do but especially during times like this. And that's where partners are so crucial. I mean, IBM, you know, huge company, you know, massive direct sales force, but you can't cover everything. And so having the partner who's got intimate relationships, I mean, I was on a call uh, earlier this week 
with a partner in Minneapolis. I mean, and he knows everybody in that region. And so you just, that level of intimacy, I think becomes very, very important in times like this, doesn't it? Absolutely. And, and staying connected with, with that. So we have about, uh, you know, just over 10,000, 11,000 active partners um, across, across the world. And uh, staying, you know, close to the, the senior members of, of our largest partners is, is really important to us. We had a, let's say we hosted a call uh, earlier this week, actually, uh, with, um, with our advisory council to, you know, test the programs that we've got in, in the market. Are they hitting where they, need, um, where they need the help the most? We take a lot of feedback. We've adjusted our programs. We're looking at this on a literally a daily basis right now. Um, and would envisage that we would, you know, we would update and be pretty agile in terms of how we maneuver that. But you know, to your point, having a partner network that we do have, um, you know, around both our, our hardware and our software portfolio, uh, and is 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 great to, to learn what we're, um, you know, what what they're hearing from their part from their clients, and uh, you know, it allows us to more easily uh, and quickly address needs um, across all of the IBM client set. So we interview a lot of partners and you know, when you talk to them, oh yeah, they got to make money. They have to, the margin is very important to them, but it's almost, it's a table stakes. I mean, they can, they can make money a lot of different ways. So what differentiates the suppliers is all these other things that you're, you're talking about. Um, so I, I want to ask you, when you, you came into this, this role, what were your you know, priorities um, in terms of you know, partner outreach, retaining that, that loyalty and, and what do you see changing uh, as a result of this pandemic? Yeah, it's a great question. So look, four key priorities uh, that, that we declared very early on. And by the way, you know, I uh, took over from John Telch at the time, and John has spent the last two years really transforming um, you know, the channel and the way we engage with the channel. And so there was a lot of hard lifting that was already done, but there were sort of four things that we focused in on. One was, um, you know, obviously, how do we continue to accelerate IBM's drive into the hybrid multi-cloud market, uh, particularly now with the, the integration of Red Hat into the organization? So that's a very different, you know, sales motion that we, that we had. And so accelerating, uh, that was, was one of our key priorities. The second one was, you know, how do we continue to differentiate partner value? And so ensuring that, that our programs are staying um, up to speed and that they're being modernized. Uh, you know, the, the IBM Partner World program has been a program predominantly built on resale over the last, you know, 10 years. Now the market shifted. We're now talking about platforms. We're now talking about consumption. And, and this week during Partner World, we're going to talk about, you know, how we are going to evolve the Partner World program to move into and address partners who are building on platforms and how they're moving to consumption. Again, all around hybrid multi-cloud. That's kind of the second thing skills, skills and um, expertise for our, for our channel. We kind of have declared that we want our channel to be the most skilled channel in the industry. And it's, it's really interesting, Dave, during this period of the, of the pandemic, it's, it's one of these times where we seem to have more, you know, we seem to have more time. And the partners have been giving us a lot of feedback to say, you know, during this time where our workforce is home and is connected digitally, why don't we, you know, why doesn't IBM help with in enhancing the enablement program, certification. And, uh, and so we're doing a lot around that. We see it as a, as, as a great opportunity to, to, uh, to really develop um, certifications and skills and expertise during this period. Um, and then the fourth thing is around winning in what we call our, our selective segments. And so you know, we want our partners to operate across the IBM portfolio and across our client set, but where we really need their help and where we're putting the money in the programs is around the you know mid-size uh, organizations where they can uh, bring the our portfolio into places that it doesn't exist today new clients or existing clients uh, with um, with IBM but an adjacent product if you like so those are kind of the four priorities and you know what we're seeing is um, this uh, situation that we're going through this pandemic that we're going through is actually accelerating the the areas around um, Moving to my hybrid multi-cloud, cloud is becoming you know differentiator for us, and uh, accelerating our need to get a program that is relevant beyond just resale, but you know this this concept of platforms and building partners that build with their own IP on the platform and consumption. So I think it's 
it's actually accelerating uh, what we've seen and, and how we're moving forward on our port priority. And it's interesting what you're saying about resale. We've we've talked many many years now on the cube about how you know the the partner ecosystem. It really used to be about resale. You know, we, you know pejorative is box selling, uh, and you can make a lot of money doing that. You know, a decade or two ago, uh, but when cloud came, partners really started to understand that that there was a sea change happening in, in IT. Uh, it, for a while there, they thought, wow, you know, this is really going to be challenging. You know, cloud's going to kill us. But what they realized after a while is well, cloud is actually complex. Hybrid cloud is, is not simple to secure and, 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 and create a seamless experience across clouds, on-prem, et cetera. So the huge opportunities open up to add value. So there's been a massive change in the mindset. Uh, and, and it sounds like, particularly with digital, that the pandemic is going to accelerate that uh, and people are going to come out of this um, almost having you know, done some exercises, little, maybe in a little bit better shape than they came into it. You, you buy that premise? No question, there's no question at all. I mean, if you think about you know, IBM's portfolio for a minute um, and over the last really six to nine months, we have you know, containerized our, our software portfolio it's based on the, you know, the Kubernetes uh, containerization and all back mm -hmm. around OpenShift. So we're ready from a portfolio perspective. And, you know, now we're catching up from a, from a program perspective. Um, we're introducing this week in Partner World, this concept of a build program and a service program. And so that is, you know, we'll preserve and continue to evolve the sell program, the resale. But, you know, this concept of a build program and a service program is going to only extend the reach that we have to the partner and the ecosystem that, uh, that we're operating in. Uh, new sets of partners, partners that want to transition their business from resale to consumption. So we're going to support that. Um, but then, you know, to your point around this whole digital, um, everything from digital capabilities around generating demand and opportunity. You know, we talked a little bit about that earlier with the My Digital program and the funding that we've got behind that and the expertise that we're, we're offering as consultants but also this concept of digital selling. You know, there's, um, you know, not all of our partners are, uh, are savvy around digital selling. And so you know, we've been doing that for many, many years. And, uh, and so we're opening up uh, digital selling uh, enablement sessions, webinars, consultancy, um, and a bunch of assets that, that IBM has and has invested in for many, many years and opening that up to, uh, to our channel. Yes, yeah, some, some great opportunities there for, for partners. I mean, we, the Cube has been covering the Red Hat Summit. We've had uh, Jim Whitehurst on. We're in the process of scheduling Arvin. So it's great to see, you know, kind of connect the dots between those franchises and, and identify the opportunities. And they're, they're significant. I mean, Red Hat has a lot of momentum in the marketplace. IBM has huge presence. Great opportunity to modernize applications. And then your you know, point about the, the hardware side, we just saw in IBM's latest earnings release that the fish are running in, in hardware right now. And uh, you know, obviously tailwind of the Z cycle, but other parts of the portfolio storage you know, grew 19%. And so, so some exciting times you know, for partners, even though there's so much uncertainty in the market, again, staying close to customers, you know, doing, doing right by your employees, leveraging the IBM relationship where you're obviously providing a lot of, of, of backdrop and support. David, I wonder if you could just sort of wrap a bow around, you know, thank 2020 as the virtual trucks are pulling away, away from the virtual uh, digital Moscone. What, what's the takeaways? Well, give us the bumper sticker. Look, the bumper sticker is that uh, it's never been a better time to be an IBM partner. We've got a leading portfolio that is now ready for the, the, the new world, the world of consumption and the world we're building on. Um, we are, you know, we're modernizing our programs to ensure that you, you can make money here. There's a lot of money to be made as we, as we get into this, uh, this, this new world. And we are behind you right now to support you both financially and to get you digital, digitally enabled and engaged. So um, never a better time to be an IBM partner right now. David, great message. Thank you very much for coming on theCUBE and uh, best of luck to you. Stay safe and uh, again, really appreciate your time. You too, Dave. Thanks very much. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Yeah, ditto. Uh, uh, and you're watching theCUBE here at IBM's Think 2020, our digital coverage. Uh, we'll be right back right after this short break. I'm Dave Vellante and you're watching theCUBE.